What's going on dudes and dudettes? It's Wolves Blood 6 over here at BAMCON 2014. First I want to thank Chris Hernandez at Super Bad Action Figures for putting together today's event. Going to start off at the Super Bad Action Figures display. Here they have a couple premium formats. There is the Apocalypse made famous by Rhino Ferrokai on YouTube. There are some miniature statues there. Catwoman Penguin. The likenesses are kind of miss. There's a great pose for uh, that Batman right there. That statue. Horrible joke in the background, but let's skip that. Moving over to Scorpion. Badass figure. Awesome character from the franchise of Mortal Kombat. My favorite. Green Lantern. Just going to go ahead and skip that. Who cares? And here are the boxes that Too Bad uh, Action Figures have. 66 figures. The Thors. Banner. Crow. Who cares? The Loki right there. Avengers Loki. You guys got to get that while you can because the new release is not up to par. Who cares about Silk Spectre? Who cares about Amber? Barney Ross, get him while you can because I don't think they're going to make uh, Expendables 3. There are the two Bruce Lees. Those are about $60 uh, more than I'd be willing to spend today. So I passed. War Machine, really not interested in the die cast figures whatsoever. Whatsoever. And here's the custom corner. This is where everyone was able to vote on their favorite uh, custom creations from the different collectors. The first three here are done from Rob's Creature House. He does some awesome, awesome, awesome custom jobs on. Uh, on figures, you can follow them on Instagram under the same name. Number four here, that's from Jay and Wendy, the bomb show. Uh, number five is a power pose figure made into, I guess, a regular figure. Down here, power loader, also done by Jay. Um, I believe he put lights, not too sure. Sorry about that. And down below here, we have a couple other customs, but I got recognized. Going, What's up, man? Look at this rock, man. That's the old school rock. That's nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's the classic rock, man. And back into my flow, moving up. We have some more here, and these are, that's actually uh, Robert right there. That's Robert Castro working on his Solomon Grundy. And spoiler alert, folks, Solomon Grundy is the winner of today's event at Famcon. He was able to pick a free figure, I believe. Um, I believe he took a Cobra Commando. But this figure right here, again, I don't think the video does it justice. It's a fantastically done, fantastic figure, edited uh, Hulk piece, and that is Solomon Grundy. Uh, he did have the noose, but the Rob opted not to put it on because the stickiness on the paint would stick to the noose. So, born on a Monday, buried on a Sunday. That's Solomon Grundy for you, folks. Over here, we got Harry Potter. This is a figure that I wasn't too familiar with until I saw it up for pre order, which I did pre order. Um, Followed by canceling it immediately after because I don't need a Harry Potter at all in my collection. And here you got Nathan Drake, I believe, uh, followed by a custom Indiana Jones. Which I think that Indiana Jones era is the best likeness I've seen. There's another Russell Crowe, followed by Bruce Willis. That's a Grail Willis right there. Uh, Wolverine after that. Last of Us. And then uh, Matrix, Heisenberg. You know, you got, you got everybody. There's another uh, Indiana Jones, not too into that either. And here is the I'm in me section. I'm in me, I'm in me. This is Jon Snow in the front looking pretty good, looking sad with a little sad expression. Then you get The Last of Us back there. Sherlock Holmes in the front, Benedict Cumberbatch. I did not know that they were working on a Han Solo. Uh, likeness is a little off from the front view or from the side view. It's definitely Harrison Ford. And there's Benedict Cumberbatch right there in the front. Right here you got the Clipper King's favorite figures, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And they are here. And I know Mini Me right now is very controversial uh, as far as with the community and uh, Clipper King. But when you get figures like this, the Memento figure, uh, I mean, my God, look at this. Beautifully done tattoos. The body's right on. The clothes are great. Likeness is great on the face. Then you got Braveheart three different head sculpts from Mel fucking Gibson and then you got another one coming out with the blood spell blood splatter as well uh, then he's just working on the outfit for the figure which I guess is a bitch Kyler Durden right there not supposed to talk about him because it's Fight Club the um, skip Dorothy and there is the um, Star Trek guys which I don't care about Breaking Bad here and the orange jumpsuits looking pretty good I think Pinkman's likeness is a little off 
and Hank looks like he has a big old fat pig head, but they're doing good work there. So. Get into the dioramas and displays. Right here, we have uh, Zazu says display. He makes great work, great uh, bases for your figures to stand on. Nice looking wood, realistic wood looking bases. Over here, we have uh, Thunderbolt design. This guy makes huge dioramas, uh, broken stuff for your Avengers to run around. Here's the back of his card Thunderbolt design one at Gmail. It's another one of his pieces for the Avengers. Really nice. This is a different dude. This is from. Um, I believe the name was Craft Work. Uh, this guy is an Asian dude. He does great artwork. He makes all kinds of cool displays. There's his uh, information right there. Really cool dude. And uh, there's uh, Chad Man's Black Suit Superman. No cape. This is all the Tony May stuff. So for those of you who are on the fence, I don't know why you would be, uh, but just definitely jump on the bandwagon of Tony May. Get your capes done. I saw a couple of 89 Batman capes uh, the whole day and they looked horrible compared to mine now. Um, here's the TMNT stuff. So now you got a couple of you Ninja Turtles out there, pizza loving motherfuckers. Uh, Batman, I know I got a couple Batman fans. I think a couple of you guys do like Batman, right? And uh, this is a really cool Bane uh, figure here. This is more of the comic version with the Venom, and the eyes looked really good. They did not come out too well uh, in this video. And up here we got some busts. Can't believe I brushed over this Deadpool bust. That was a really nice one just to get this Batman with 5 o'clock shadow. And this display here, guys. I gotta say is probably one of my favorite things to see from the whole day. There's the Pussycat Palace. I'm just gonna let you guys soak this in. Uh, so much detail, you're gonna love it.
Harrison Ford. Ozzy. Morrison. Barringer. Found him again. Yeah, just put in a new entrant. He put in his Dexter. Professor Big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's definitely a hard technique to it takes time to get down. It really takes a lot of time to get it down. You want to see some cracking, bitch? That's nah, some cracking. They get it cracking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Okay, it's not Rizzo. It does look like him, even though it does have his beard. And once you get him talking, he doesn't shut up like the figure, but still. Over here, you got Phantom of the Opera. Right after that, you got the exclusive the Running Man and the Kyle Reese. The Running Man was 200, Kyle Reese was 160. Came with the uh, complete kit, body, head sculpt, all his clothes, shoes completed. I ended up passing on it. Over here, you have the Marty McFly and Doc two different versions of Doc, which I think Hot Toys will probably do. Who cares about that? 
and over here you have the kits right there. By the end of the day, they were gone. I think they had one left, and, uh, and that was it. But pretty cool excuse. Yeah. All right, you guys, not a huge haul, but definitely a haul nonetheless. I got a lot of stuff from FamCon today. I had a great time at all the collectors. Uh, I got a couple shirts here, great deals. I got Loki, and I also got this Keep Calm, Run Like Hell shirt. Got three pairs of shorts for like dirt cheap, like 10 bucks. Got this Mattel, Mr. Perfect, because he is perfect. Needed a Mr. Perfect in my collection. Look at this, you guys. These awesome, um, these awesome badges that we got made for us really fantastic you you gave your name on osr or wherever and then they went ahead and had these rain ready for you and actually christine was manning the booth that was giving these out and she actually handed mine to me right when i arrived there which is awesome it's great to see christine and her husband lewis running around with their baby it was great great to see them also saw marlo and a couple other guys right here we got uh the lannister uh thing that i promised the buddy of mine i'd get him so i got it for him because he's a lannister I finally met this guy, Zazu's. Uh, uh, these guys, fantastic. I actually won their drawing. They make some awesome display stands. I wasn't able to get it today, but their display stands are awesome. They make the. It looks like uh, you're actually walking around on wood, which is really great. And I actually felt it, touch it. It actually felt great. I actually also won this awesome poster. Um, it's really nice. Can't wait to put that up. I actually also got it autographed. Did buy those there, Frankenstein's as well, but because I was hungry. This is a real quick uh, purchase that I made. It was on. Uh, it was in the display of the uh, Famcon everything, and one of the guys were selling this, so I had to pick this up. It's Judge Dredd's badge. As far as one six scale stuff goes, pump action shotgun working uh, pump here. I think this was about. I think a dollar. No, no, no. This was three dollars. Um, each one of these pistols, dollar each. This one does have moving parts. This one does not, but it's got an awesome off silver black color which is great so dollar each can't beat that magazine popped out already flare gun dollar working flare gun uh, not working but it opens opens and closes comes with a grenade and a couple flares for the gun really great shovel here feels like metal dollar which is crazy dollar for each of these pool cues these are actually the ends of the sticks is they're not the pieces but I got these because I'm trying to imp improvise so you know beggars can't be choosers and dollar each can't beat that I also got this awesome set of boxes these are wooden boxes so I could have somebody standing on one of these sitting on one uh, pretty cool these are about five bucks which can beat that bought myself this is the second Mini Cooper I've purchased in my whole life guys so my recommendation Mini Cooper uh, and I got these these are for these are uh, typically used for your um, trading cards but I use these as acrylic risers in my display so gonna be cracking this open and using this as well today and finally I did get Skeletor one of these uh, one of these guys I had to get this because it was either him or the Green Ranger and Green Ranger had a little discoloration on the bottom of his of the white boots so this guy is all this color so it won't be getting dirty anytime soon not that I'm gonna be getting this motherfucker dirty anyway but alright guys hopefully you enjoyed this video go ahead and like this video subscribe comment down below 
check out my other videos and also check out the rest of the Famicom videos. I know Marlo, who I met today, he's going to be posting his videos. Um, I think, uh, I'm not sure if uh, Lewis and Christine did video, uh, did record anything today, but um, they should be doing something as well. And I'll catch you guys on the other side. Till next time, see you later. Where the fuck is my Robocop? Peace. Alright, right, so make sure you go subscribe. Alright, subscribe. Sure. Yep. Yeah, comment on every video. I will. Thumbs up every video. Yep. Right? Yep. And, um, and, um, it's in a message. Uh huh? And, uh, Una? Yeah. Yes. Yeah.